He is under a state of emergency due to the winter storms. This means state resources like emergency management have been activated to help communities with road issues and utilities. Price gouging laws are also in effect, so you can report price gouging on goods and services to the Office of the Attorney General. These single di digit temperatures are especially concerning right now for people experiencing homelessness. Operation White Flag remains in effect as long as temperatures stay below 35 degrees. Wayside Christian Mission in Louisville's been open all weekend. Officials there said though their beds are full, they've turned their workspaces into sleeping areas in order to take more people in. The facility took in more than 100 extra people this weekend. When it's wet and then it's cold outside, that puts us at higher risk of hypothermia and frostbite. So especially for my folks who have to work outside, unfortunately, given their um, occupation or maybe folks who have um, some temporary housing situations, that's going to be really important with these upcoming cold days. Wayside told us the Good Samaritan Patrol is going out twice a day to look for people who are out and encouraging them to come in. White flag shelters are also available at the Salvation Army on South Brook Street. There are resources outside of the metro for those who may need it. If you live in Hardin County, take a look at the numbers on your screen. These are three places you can go and call for assistance with shelter in E-Town, Radcliffe and Vine Grove. We'll also post these on WHAS 11. And the Southern Indiana Homeless Coalition is operating a 24-7 warming station through tomorrow. It's at Culbertson Baptist Church on Grant Line Road. Anyone in need of a warm place to stay is welcome, even your pets. The coalition says TARC will also be providing free transportation to the shelters. For the latest weather alerts sent directly to your phone, make sure you have the WHAS 11 News app. A reminder, more snow is on the way this week. And if you have some snow photos, we'd want to see them. You can text them to the number there on your screen. That's 582-7290. Be sure to include your name and where you live, and we may show them later on in the day on WHAS 11. An off-duty Indiana police officer performed a water rescue saving a North Vernon woman. Authorities said the water was up to her neck when rescuers found her. It happened on Saturday around 5.30 p.m. in Jackson County. The 911 call received uh, a call from Jennifer Colvin saying that she was trapped in her car, which was stuck in floodwaters. Deputy Mark Holt, who was off-duty at the time, was in the area and quickly responded. He said the water was rising over the hood of that car and Colvin was still trapped inside. You can take a look at the photo there. The deputy ran into the water, made that rescue. She was taken to Schneck Medical Center where she was treated for possible hypothermia. Louisville firefighters are working to determine the cause of a deadly house fire in the California neighborhood. It happened just before 10 o'clock yesterday morning on West Kentucky off South 16th Street. We're told there were flames in the basement and on the first floor of that home. Firefighters found one person dead inside after gaining control of that fire. A 40-year-old woman died in a car crash near the Jefferson-Shelby County line this weekend. That happened around 1030 Sunday night on Taylorsville Lake Road. Metro police said a car was driving erratically, swerved into the opposite lane, and hit a car driven by Arandita Lane. Both drivers were taken to the hospital where Lane died. Police also said a child in Lane's car was taken to Norton Children's Hospital with injuries. Details on their condition have not been released. So however dark it is, however deep the angry feelings are and the violent explosions are, I can still sing, we shall overcome. We shall overcome because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. Those words coming from Dr. King's final Sunday sermon at Washington National Cathedral just four days before he was assassinated some 56 years ago. Martin Luther King Jr. Day became federally recognized as a holiday in 1986. And still to this day, communities across the world are finding ways to live out his dream.
The bitter cold didn't stop the 52nd annual MLK motorcade through downtown Louisville this morning. This year's theme, where do we go from here? Which organizers say looks to channel the work of Dr. King himself. It began at the Kroger at 28th and West Broadway. Unions, community groups, churches and elected officials drove through that route through West Louisville to King Solomon Baptist Church, where several of them spoke ahead of a luncheon scheduled for 2 o'clock this afternoon. The public's welcome at all of these events. And the Muhammad Ali Center is offering free admission today to honor Dr. King. All exhibits are included until 5 this evening. The center will also have a screening of Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech at the top of each hour. There will also be a student panel on Dr. King's message and professional development sessions for teachers. You can find a full list of MLK Day events happening around Kentuckiana on the front page of WHAS11.com. 12.06 is your time on this Monday in Kentucky and has spent nearly $300 million betting on sports in one month alone. And with that comes increased calls for help. Gambling addiction experts tell us they've seen demand for counselors double since sports wagering became legal. A couple of the state's bigger cities don't have them. Our senior reporter Isaiah Kim Martinez explains where they're looking to expand staff and how a portion of the tax revenue could make the difference. It's all new tonight at 11, only on the WHAS 1119.